Hello again and welcome. This video was requested by the forums. What we're going to be doing today is taking a PTC that you would typically find in a handheld meter, placing it in series with a surge rated resistor, and we're going to apply a thousand volts across this. We're going to do it a couple of different ways. We're going to allow the PTC to be cold, and we'll see what kind of an arc we can draw with it. And then we're going to allow this to heat up, and we'll see what kind of an arc we could draw. And the reason behind this little experiment is if we had a certified meter like this Bryman BM869S is, and we applied a thousand volts DC to the front end, and then we placed the meter into one of the modes that engage the low voltage clamps, like temperature or resistance, for example, and then we move the switch away from that to where it's opening up, would we damage the contacts? So one of the thoughts is that the PTC would protect the switch contacts. Once the PTC opens up, it's definitely going to limit the current. So if you had the 1,000 volts attached to the meter and the PTC's cold, and then you start rotating it into one of these positions where the clamp is there, and then you end up with any kind of a contact bounce, I think it would do the meter in. So to get 1,000 volts across this, again, the PTC, let's just go to resistance. These are typically uh, 1.3K ohms. You can see this one is 1.26K. And then I have it in series with this 1K surge rated resistor. And you can see it's measuring roughly 1K ohms. So, you know, the overall resistance is 2.2K in this case. If this were 2K total and we we're putting 1,000 volts across it, we're going to need roughly 500 milliamps. So that's not a small power supply. We're definitely going to be working with a potentially lethal setup. So that's the reason for having the safety gloves out. What I'm going to be doing is putting this into a pan of ice. We'll just clamp it down. We'll attach one of the clip leads to it. And then I just have this piece of wire stuck in the other clamp. And we'll just touch these together and see what it looks like. We'll be using the high speed camera for this to give you a better idea what it looks like. So I'll go ahead and set that up. If you're curious what this second resistor was for, this is a 100 ohm device. I was using this to discharge the power supply when I was all done with the testing. I'm not really sure what we've learned from this experiment. Obviously, if you have a 1,000 volts DC attached to the meter, and that power supply has any kind of current capability, and you make the mistake of turning the function to one of these modes that requires the clamp, you know, you're probably going to destroy your meter. But I think if the meter was already in one of those modes, and then you attach the leads to the high voltage power supply and then you realized you had it in the wrong function and then you turned it away from it yeah the PTC may save you it's hard to say my advice is if you're working with a high voltage DC supply like this pay attention to what you're doing and your meter is going to be fine well I think that's going to be it for this video I hope you enjoyed it until the next video stay safe and we'll see you then later